This is it. This is the dress I'm wearing to my rich husband's funeral. Hello beautiful people, I hope that you are all going well. So as you can see from the title, today's haul is from Tragic Beautiful, which is a small sustainable Australian business. They sell all things gothic and alternative, they've got clothing, accessories, homeware, etc etc. Whatever you're looking for or whatever you like, they definitely got it starting off by showing the dresses I got and then moving on to accessories and makeups and hair dyes. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll start off with what I have on now. This is a crescent oversized tunic dress. I was a bit worried that this would be too short on me or not fit too well since I usually get size S or M in dresses and this is a size XS. For reference, I am about 165 centimeters in height, which should be about 5 foot 5 or so. I'm really happy with the way this dress fits me, it's not too long and it's not too short either. I think this dress is very versatile, you can dress it up or dress it down. For example, I recently wore it as a casual cover up to the beach, but when the right occasion comes I think I can also pair it with a nice belt and wear it to a more fancy event. So the next dress I've got here is the NYX fringe dress. I was inspired to get it because I think it's something that Ash Costello would wear. She is an absolute style icon and listen to New Year's Day and to Haxons if you haven't already. Just like the last dress, the quality of this material is perfect, it wouldn't tear easily and it's really soft. And I am in love with the fringe sleeves, I just want any excuse I can to move my arms around and show off the fringe. So overall it was definitely worth the price and I really hope that someday I'll be able to wear it to an awards show or my rich husband's funeral, whichever comes first. <laughs> Next is a dead inside hood dress. At first I wasn't too sure if I'd get it since I don't have any hood dresses and I'm not sure if it would look good on me or not because I have a massive forehead, but I am so so glad I got this. I was also a bit worried about the material of the sleeves and the hood because I thought, oh no, what if I ripped it? What if it rips in a dryer or the washing machine? But it is completely fine. It is in amazing condition and God, I just love waving the sleeves around. I don't think I'll use a hood too often, but I'll definitely have a photo shoot in it in the near future. If you want to check that out, it will be on my Instagram link down below. And of course, all the products I bought will be linked down below as well. So now let's move on to the earrings. Next up we have a waist bag, so if you've ever worn a cute outfit and couldn't be bothered carrying a backpack, this is for you. Probably tell by the look of the material, it is vegan leather so no animals were harmed which is really good. And I have tried fitting my phone and portable charger and glasses in here which all fit really nicely. And it does also have two pockets at the front so I'll probably put my AirPods in one of them so it doesn't get mixed up with other stuff in my bag. And a lipstick in one of them so that I can touch up whenever I need to. I'll be starting off with the black star earrings I am wearing right now. As you can probably tell, black is my favourite colour to wear. And aside from the fact that it is the colour of my soul, I also really like it because it is versatile. You can wear it in any occasion and with any colour. Also, I do dye my hair quite often, so the fact that black goes with pretty much every colour makes me feel confident that it'll look good on me no matter what colour hair I have. Next up is a pair of earrings I was most excited to receive. Like, just look at how beautiful and extra these turquoise earrings are. Of course, I did want to get it in black, but unfortunately it was sold out and this was the only colour available. And actually, I think that worked out for me because it's encouraging me to go out of my comfort zone. I'm obsessed with every part of this, I love the sparkles, I love the soft pom-pom, and I would 100% recommend getting it. Next up we have these amazing holographic earrings. It doesn't feel too heavy or uncomfortable either, which is such a relief because my ears are quite sensitive. I would definitely wear these to somewhere exciting like a club or I might just wear it on the first day back to uni and show up looking like a disco ball. And because one of my most toxic traits is that I'm really indecisive, I actually got this in another colour as well. It's because of Mercury retrograde being in Aquarius so I really need retail therapy to help me get through it. Anyway, just like the last one, the quality is really good, worth the price and it's really show-stopping stunning as well. And now on to makeup, the first thing I got is a blending sponge. 
because I only have one other one at home which is getting quite old and since I might be going into my 200th lockdown and have to stop working soon, I would like to take some time at home to work on my makeup skills. Next up is a bunch of lipsticks which I'll be doing both lip swatches and hand swatches for. So I'll be starting off with Bite. This is a shade which I was wearing in a video showing the earrings. This is just a nice classic shade of red which will go well with anything. Next up is Corrupt. On camera it does look pretty similar to Bite so I'll be doing a small comparison. But in person it is more of a burgundy colour, kind of like the nail polish I'm wearing right now. Next up is a purple lipstick. This is from the Lime Crime Plushies collection in the shade Grape Jelly. If you want a darker shade of purple, you'll definitely need to put on a few layers, but if you're okay with more of a glossy light purple, then just one or two should be okay. Next up is Hallow. This is like a really nice orangey brown lipstick. I don't have any other shades like this, I mostly have pink and red, so I'm really excited to try it out and see what I can pair it with. And next up is Fallen, this is just a beautiful bold black lipstick. The formula is really good compared to some cheaper black lipsticks I've tried before, and just like all the other ones it should stay on really well, but also be easy to take off when you need to. Lastly I also got some lip gloss, this is a Lime Crime Wet Cherry collection in Cherry Crush. Now I'll be introducing you to the newest editions of my Vault of Hair Dyes. Even though all the hair dyes I got are from different brands, they are all vegan and cruelty free. The first shade I got is from Manic Panic Amplified in Electric Lizard. I've never dyed my hair green before, so I think bright green would be a really interesting change. Next I've got this bright yellow shade from Luna Tides. I've seen quite a few YouTubers dye their hair bright yellow like Crystal Lindy and I really want to try it as well. And last but not least we've got the shade Apricot from Directions Hair Dye. I'll be seeing Multiverse of Madness in May with my friends so I might keep this till then so I can dye my hair orange for the Wonder Maximoff vibe. So that's all I've got for today, thank you all so so much for watching. Let me know if you've shopped at Tragic Beautiful before or if you have any recommendations for other stores that sell grunge, alternative and gothic items. I'll definitely be making more videos related to holes and hair dye and fashion in the future so if any of that interests you please give this video a like and subscribe and if you have any video recommendations you're more than welcome to comment it. Once again thank you so so much for watching, stay safe and have a great day.